Hey guys, uh, CJ9899 here, and I bring you System Test 47. Okay, so for this system test, obviously, so you can see some new additions here, but first I'm joined by... Black Lightning 4547. Fire and Alarm 1234. Okay, and they'll join me for uh, system test 47. So, as you can see, first of all, we have this. This is the Notifier System 500 panel that if you watched my previous video that I uploaded of me going through the golf course building, uh, you'll know that this is the panel that came out of there. And uh, yes, it is perfectly working and everything. I still have to program it slightly and I'm going to add some new additions, but for now I just have it, Zone 1 uh, is hooked up to the alarm relay on here, but it will be activating. But uh, yeah, I'm actually going to quickly unlock this for when I am ready keys on the side. Let's get that ready. Okay. Yeah, it is a, well, I might as well open it up. It's perfectly working fine. It's a 16 zone model because it's got a card in it. And uh, the, it's interesting, the parts were made at different dates. Uh, the cabinet was made in 2005. The main control card was made in 2007, but the motherboard's from 2000. So I know the system was installed in 2001, so they probably had to replace a few parts on this thing over the years. But then uh, here's the NFW 50, it is normal. Okay, so for this pull station here, it is still the uh, Edwards 270 SPO, just because this system is actually going to mix up Edwards and Simplex. And you'll see why in a second. But uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, smoke detectors are still the Edwards ones. Uh, back room pull station is this. This is my bilingual uh, 2099 T-Bar. Um, two stage one, and this back box is deep enough to hold those uh, screw terminal brackets. Okay, so for the notification appliance here, this is still the uh, integrity uh, strobe, except I actually put the ceiling mount cover back on. I know it looks kind of silly, but you know, I just decided, I mean, it doesn't really matter on a system like this. And now, for the other device here, this is the first time you've seen this since system test two, and it is this. This is my Simplex 4903-9217 horn strobe. And if you remember a while back, I said that the original strobe was fried on this. Well, I actually took the guts out of an integrity strobe and uh, put it in here and it actually looks really nice. So you can not you can actually barely tell the difference. And uh, the horn actually, I believe it or not, I, I accidentally put a tiny little hole in the diaphragm and now it, it sounds even better than what it did before. So it actually, I kind of fixed it here in a way, but I'm also going to be getting us, uh, I'm actually going to be doing a trade with uh, Fire Alarm 1234. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. But uh, the strobe is 75 Candela, and uh, that strobe is on 1575. So the system is doing code three, so let's go ahead and get this going. Let me just get the panel, this panel unlocked too. All right, here we go. Which pulse station should I do first? T-bar. T-bar? Okay. Alright, here we go. Let's uh, pull this. Here we go. Three, two, one. There's uh, something going on with this panel where it's clicking re really weirdly. I don't know what's going on. Something has to do with maybe a ground fault or something. But uh, yeah, so um, let's go ahead and reset the pulse station. Alright, now I don't think it'll re alarm. The small panel will not re alarm. But uh, the main one will. So let me just get my screwdriver. And I uh, will figure. Let's do. 
the two Sony SP, but we'll just key test it. Or screwdriver test it. Here we go. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty much it, I guess, for System Test 47. Let me just go ahead and reset this panel and then this one. And it should just reset. Okay, so this panel is normal. This one can reset eventually. So, I guess that's it for System Test 47 with... Black Lightning 4547 and Fire and Alarm 1234. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.